Hello, and we are now in part seven of our how to make Alexa skill or how to make an Alexa skill with Python. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to handle sessions. Uh, so hopefully you've watched the previous videos or you just maybe you want to figure out what sessions are. Um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about handling sessions. Sessions, if you remember from the part one, sessions are a series of interactions with shared memory. It's almost like a session cookie in a web browser. Uh, so let's create an intent in the skill builder. Uh, we will create a new intent called counter intent. We've done this a few times now. We're going to create a couple of utterances. We're going to say counter and then start counter. And we're going to create a new intent in the intent router. Um, there we go. Oops. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. Now here we get to the meat of it. We're going to create the counter intent function. We just created over here. All right. So we're going to, so when, yes. <laughs> so we are going to extract the session attributes. Just, we're only doing this for um, ease of read readability. Um, you don't need to do this. I'm just doing this for readability because with these nested dictionaries on the screen, it gets very hard to read. So we're going to assign that to session attributes. So we're going to say if counter in session attributes. So we're just seeing if that key exists, because if it's our very first session, we haven't put anything into this attributes. Um, if we haven't put anything into it, we can't access the keys. Otherwise, you know, you have a key key error. So we're going to check to see if that exists. And if so, we're going to increment that counter. Um, essentially this attributes here is just another dictionary. Um, so else, so if, it doesn't exist, we're going to create it and we're going to give it a value of one. And then we're going to return the com we're going to return a conversation. This is a new helper method. I don't think we've seen this one yet so far. So conversation is going to take, um, the, oh, it's going to take a title. It's going to give you the, the uh, session attribute and then session attributes. Yes. Um, this function introduces a session object and templates helper, templates helper function uh, conversation. The session allows us to store a key value, store key value pairs in event session attributes. These key value pairs disappear at the end of a session, so you have to be careful. Um, they are not persistent over vast amounts of time. Um, as soon as a session ends with that little Alexa device, they evaporate and they are gone. Uh, in this function, we are incrementing a counter in the session, and then we return the result of the template conversation function. Yes. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. We'll see one more time um, what we've done. So yes, um, we're checking to see if that counter key is there. If it is, we're going to increment it. If not, we're going to create it. And then we're going to call this conversation function with the following arguments. Um, let's look at the conversation function. This kind of has more of the meat of it. Um, so we haven't needed to do this. You may have seen it earlier in other speechlets, maybe that we built a response bodies, I believe. The responses, they didn't, they just had blank session attributes. And this is going to be a little more complex. We're going to have the speechlet, just like the, some of the other helpers we saw before. So it's going to have an output, it's going to have a card, and this is where it's going to be different. We're not ending the session. We're saying false. All right, and then when we build response, we are going to give it the session attributes that we had from earlier. So if you look, we as soon as we get that um, event in, we're going to save the session and then add some things to it and then pass it along to the next function. And then here, we're going to pass along the response. Um, and then that session is going to be given to our Lambda servers. Um, so in this example, what's going to, how it's going to work is the user is going to say, Alexa, ask daily numerology to start counting. Alexa is going to respond by saying one. The user then will say count, and then Alexa will say two, and the user will say count, and Alexa will say, this is wrong, I should have said three. <laughs> uh, why? Why would it do that? Because we're incrementing it as the session goes. As long as that session is active, we're going to keep, and the user keeps on saying count, we're going to keep on incrementing that counter. Um, let's see, in order to maintain the session, you must return the session 
object with every response. That's a really important thing that sometimes people forget. You can lose that session data if you don't return it in the response. Um, yeah, so that was the uh, basics of how the sessions work. Hopefully that was useful to you and thank you for watching. I hope you find that video useful. And if you did, hit that like button, please. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below.